Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows host process run DLL32 has stopped working in your Windows machine. Please watch this video till the end and try all the steps mentioned in this video to resolve the problem. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and disable thumbnail previews on your computer. To do this, you will have to open File Explorer. You can do a right click on the Start button and then click on File Explorer or you can press Windows key and E that should open File Explorer. You can go to the C drive or anywhere on the location. Now, once you're on the File Explorer, you will have to click on the See More option by clicking on the three dots and then click on Options. This is taking this is going to take you to the folder options. Once you're on this, you may go ahead and click on View and then check the box which says always show icons never thumbnails click on apply and then click on ok close the window and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next method now the next method to resolve this issue is to go and update your drivers now outdated or incompatible drivers especially graphic drivers are common culprits now to update the drivers you will have to open the device manager by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on the device manager once you are on the device manager you will have to locate for display adapters do a right click and then click on update for scan for changes and once you have done this you will have to go ahead and update your display adapters in case if you have more than one you will have to repeat the steps for all the adapters so to begin with, you can choose the first one, do a right click and then click on update driver, search automatically for the drivers and click on close and then repeat the same step for the second adapter, click on close. Once this is done, you can close the window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to go ahead and run system file checker. Now the corrupted system files often cause this error. So the SFCs tool can repair these files. Now to begin with, you will have to open the command prompt on your computer. So in the search window, you will have to go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. You can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to execute multiple commands. Now the first command what you will have to go ahead and execute is to run the system file checker. The command is sfc space forward slash scan. You can either type or you can copy the command from the video description and paste it here. Once you have the command, you can hit enter to execute this command. Now this will take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of the computer. It would start the verification. Once the verification is completed, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. You can close this window and restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next command. Now the next command you will have to execute is to run the DISM scan on the computer. To do this, you will have to open the command prompt on your computer. So you can go to the search and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. And click on right click, run as administrator. When prompted, click on yes or continue on the screen. Now here you will have to execute multiple commands. These are the commands for checking health, scan health and restore health. So the first command you will have to execute is to go ahead and check the health. You can copy the command from the video description and paste it here by doing a control V or you can do a right click and execute. You would see a message saying that the operation has completed successfully. The second command is to go ahead and scan the health. You can copy the command and paste it and hit enter to execute it. This will take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of the computer. Wait until this command has been successfully executed. Once this command has been successfully executed, the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is to restore health. You can copy the command from the video description. You can do a right click and paste it and hit enter. This will go ahead and execute the command to go ahead and restore health. Once this command has been successfully executed, you can close this window, 
restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and run the file and folder troubleshooting. Now to execute this command, you will have to open the browser and type this address bar from the video description. You can copy the link from the video description and paste it in the address bar and hit enter. This will take you to the Microsoft website to run the diagnostic tool. All you need to do is you will have to click on download. That will download the file from the Microsoft website, the cap file. Once the download is complete, you can double click on it. Click on advanced and make sure you have apply repairs automatically checked and then click on next. This will try to go ahead and detect any problem related to your computer. Now here you may go ahead and choose all the options and then click on next. Once you click on next, it would try to detect the problem and fix the problem by itself. Once this is done, you would get a prompt to click on yes or no and it will prompt you to restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, you may go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and fix the problem using Windows Update. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on these settings, you will have to click on Windows Update on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, you will see an option called advanced option. Click on it. And then on the right hand side, you will have to scroll down until you find additional options. and Look for recovery. Click on recovery. Now here you would see an option which says fix problem using Windows update. You may go ahead and click on install now. Now here you would need to check the box which says automatically restart my PC. 15 minutes after the installation. You may go ahead and check the box and then click on OK. Now here while you are doing this, your computer will go ahead and restart and as you complete the restart, that should resolve this issue. Once you are back on the desktop, you may go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved. Now all these steps should definitely resolve the problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.